this is officially your 2024 glow up guide okay <laughs> So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. I always, always say to stay subscribed because we have a good time on this channel. I've broken this video down into three parts. We're not leaving any area out. We have to touch every area of our lives just to have a full cycle glow up for the year 2024. Now, before we even get into that, let's start with the most important step, which is theming this era, theming this glow up, theming this phase of your life, this stage of your life. That keeps you in check. That keeps you in your routine. That keeps you focus that keeps you on the path of working towards someone or working towards something or having a goal it helps you paint a picture and you're working towards that picture personally i have themed this glow up year 2024 as leaving your dream identity comfortably and i added comfortably because we need to be embracing and embedding this new identity making it our own making it a personality and not an obligation because when it comes to glow up evolving and all that stuff sometimes it might feel like an obligation and it doesn't feel natural it kind of feels fake to make sure that you have the ultimate glow up inside and out you need to make it your own you need to make it your personality you need to embed it in you you need to embrace it okay you need to make sure that it feels effortless and real rather than it just feeling like an obligation like you just have to evolve you have to change you have to you know do what everyone else was doing it has to come from within the glow up has to be in every area of your life and that's the reason why we need to start with theming the year who is the woman that you want to create what's this new identity that you want what's this new higher self that you're trying to step into have that picture first then we can get to working okay and i hope as you're watching this video you have a journal a notepad a book pen everything and you're planning with me because i have broken this video down into three parts like i said and we need to be working accordingly i've broken it into physical to mental which also covers internal and also lifestyle maintenance is important moving forward is important but let's start with the most obvious which is physical now the first thing i want to touch on when it comes to physical is health health and food that's the main thing that's going to put you together because being clean inside reflects outside you can't decorate a body or a skin that is not healthy you need to clean from within for it to reflect amazingly outside i'm talking about checkups i'm talking about blood work that is absolutely important look especially as a woman you should be getting checked at least once a year if you're doing once a year it should be a very big package i usually have this once a year big package but even with that i have my checkup in between i need to do gynecology every few months because that's that's really important for my health as you're growing up as a woman you need to know what's happening in your body especially when you get to this age where you know you're looking to settle down you're looking to have kids so aside from the big package if you're going to do that once a year you should have like smaller checkups within the year to make sure that everything is okay when it comes to checkups and blood work check your vitamins your vitamin levels so can break you trust me from experience i didn't used to take vitamin levels so serious until it had me until it got me okay it got me at a point where i started having symptoms that i actually thought i had something serious and i never for the life of me would think that you know being deficient with one vitamin or in one vitamin could make me have such intense symptoms until i actually went to the hospital when your levels are low it can definitely affect your mental as well sometimes while you're depressed while you're anxious while you have some certain in symptoms like you're not able to get out of bed you're always tired all of that you think life is bad for you or something is going wrong no you might just be deficient in magnesium or vitamin d trust me when i say this vitamin d and magnesium mm girl you need to be checking that they are essential you should always have those things checked because they affect your mental they affect your physical they affect every aspect of your life if you're trying to lose weight and deficient in all these areas you are definitely not losing that way i can tell you that for sure your hormones could also be all over the place you need to check your cortisol levels book an appointment go to the hospital and make sure you're checking your cortisol your vitamin levels your thyroid blood sugar level make sure those areas are good and as well as your getting help if you need help when we talk about health we also need to talk about gut health because that's also really important that could also affect your mental if your gut health is not okay all of these tie together the human body is always connected so what you eat how you eat it when you eat it is so important you need to make sure you're taking probiotics and supplements to support your gut health and you also need to go to a gastrologist as well if you have gut health issues you having tummy aches and you're bloated all the time might just be because you're allergic to something or your 
your body isn't taking a certain type of food you need to check sometimes it could be lactose intolerant or you need to check your gluten make sure you're doing those things because they are essential for your health they're essential for your globe they're essential for your life now the next thing in physical is fitness when it comes to fitness i've always said this any amount of workout you can do in a day is sufficient for you i'm not a heavy gym girly i go to the gym quite all right like three four times a week right now you need to make sure you're dedicating at least one hour in a day to move your body i don't care what you do walk for one hour dance for one hour but just make sure that you're moving your body for at least an hour a day i'm not a heavy gym girly i love classes instead like workout classes or fitness classes but i don't do the heavy lifting in the gym i just do what i want to do like what i enjoy doing at the gym and that's pretty much okay for me i spend at least an hour in the gym sometimes 45 minutes if i don't have the time to spare in a day but i definitely make sure that i'm moving my body walking is magic the only reason why i've not exploded right now is because i walk a lot and i know this because sometimes i am not motivated to go to the gym i just got my membership like two weeks ago so before that i haven't been to the gym like in months and even before that i was going to pilates whenever i felt like i walk a lot i walk so much to the office and back every single day and trust me as long as the location is not above 30 minutes i am walking there even if you can't afford a gym membership you cannot afford pilates walk get in at least 8,000 to 10,000 steps a day that would actually help you that's the right amount of fitness that you need we need to make sure our body is right it's getting the nutrients that it needs you're supplementing you're eating right and as well as you're strengthening your body you're strengthening your bones you're strengthening your muscles you're toning up you're getting fit the goal is to be healthy and be fit any other thing that's definitely personal i'm not saying to not drink alcohol i'm in a cleanse right now i'm detoxing and it's been like over a month i started dry january but i just kind of continued because i don't have the urge to drink right now i would drink whenever i want to drink but i know for a fact because i've done this for an extended period of time i'm not going to drink as much as i used to drink you need to know what your body wants you should always listen to your body when your body says relax relax when your body says sleep sleep when your body says rest rest when your body says move me move it okay always have your ears open to your body what it needs it will definitely tell you next thing on this list is hair and nails and i'm going to speed through this because obviously this is peculiar to individuals for me i am a wig girly and i also have my natural hair that is relaxed underneath and what i like to do is wear good ass wigs okay despite the fact that i'm a wig girly and i love to wear wigs i also love to take care of my natural hair i have very fine thin hair and one thing i started doing like a couple months ago was getting products for my hair type so the products that i use right now caters to thin fine relaxed hair you don't have to get the most expensive products you just make sure that your hair is always polished looks clean you're washing it as often as you can make sure that you always have a nice look even if you're cutting your hair just make sure that it's a clean look most importantly when it comes to hair the woman that you're trying to become the woman that you're trying to step into what does her hair look like that's very important if you're stepping into an elegant season of your life you need to have elegant hairstyles put in a mood board go on pinterest okay just put elegant hairstyles you don't have to have exactly that or you could draw inspiration from that and make it your own like i said in the beginning of the video the goal for your glow up is to make it your own make it your lifestyle make it a lifestyle not an obligation an obligation will be following every single thing that you've put from pinterest in that board into your life you don't have to you need to draw inspiration make tweaks here and there and implement it into your life as your own i'm gonna say this again the father you wear wigs doesn't mean you should neglect your natural hair make sure you're washing your hair make sure you're changing your cornrows make sure you're not living in your braids longer than two to three weeks make sure you have a good and affordable hair hair care routine when it comes to nails sis i've spoken about this a million times your nails should always be clean you don't necessarily need to have color or gel or extensions make sure your nail bed is clean make sure you're getting a manicure as often as possible in a month i recommend at least once a month or once in three weeks depending on what you can afford make sure you have clean nails what you don't want is having stored up dirt inside your nails that is so nasty that is definitely not hygienic especially when we're dealing with health we use our hands a lot our hands have the tendency to transfer germs from one area to another area easily so make sure your nails are always done go on pinterest for the one billionth time i use pinterest every single time i want to get my nails done even if i'm going for a regular polish like this one that is just baby pink i always go on pinterest to see what it looks like on other women potentially what it could look like on me okay for me short to mid length nails are completely clean and elegant in my opinion okay and I'm going to stand by that. Let's talk.
talk about skincare and body care but when it comes to skin and body care you don't have to go with the most expensive products all the products that i use for my skin are very affordable they are products you can find online in store they are very accessible and they are very cheap in my opinion i mainly gravitate towards dove neve palmas cocoa butter vaseline the regular skincare product make sure you have a routine for your skin and your body no matter how simple skincare routine or body care routine does not have to be intense you don't have to look at all these videos you see online and pretty much do what they are doing they are 10 15 20 step routine my skincare routine is very very simple i usually have one for day and one for night and honestly they are pretty much the same i just remove one product i have a moisturizer i have a toner and i have a treatment depending on what i'm trying to tackle at that point in my life but the main idea of it is to have a skin and body care routine as a woman you need supple skin okay you need soft fresh clean skin i have a lot of feminine hygiene videos i'm going to have linked in the description box below if you don't have a routine pick one up today one that works for you and works well with your pocket okay your pocket is the most important thing start treating any skin problem that you might have from today if it's acne if it's wrinkles if it's hyperpigmentation oily skin dry skin there are products that are catered to those issues or those skin problems and create a routine for yourself morning and night okay now next thing on my list is creating signature scents creating signature perfume signature hairstyle have a signature scent this will definitely help you embrace this woman that you're trying to get into if you don't have a signature perfume make sure you're looking up one today look for the type of notes that you like what type of feeling that you like what type of feeling that you're trying to get get a perfume if you look behind me i have a ton of perfumes right but why i love perfumes so much is they tell stories they bring me to different phases or moments in my life perfumes have the power to uplift my mood it makes you feel your highest self it's an immediate boost of self-esteem i always say to have a signature perfume and for this new era you're stepping into let's get a perfume let's get one bottle of perfume that represents this woman that we're trying to be we we'll always have this scent when we walk into places they'll be like okay yeah she's all right lucy is here people would always know you by how you smell no matter what you layer that fragrance with it will always be your skin scent it will always be your identity it will always be your personality and honestly if you can't afford to get an expensive perfume zara makes really good perfume let me recommend a few zara perfumes that i feel like are signature worthy hypnotic vanilla is good starlight vanilla is good velvet shadow is good as well deep Garden is a perfect signature scent it also smells like carolina herrera good girl gardena is also good but it smells like black opium so if you can't afford black opium that would be good as a signature scent scent as well these are really good signature worthy fragrances from zara you don't have to break the bank signature everything for this new era or this glow up is essential signature nails signature hairstyles signature perfumes okay it's there's always something very unique about having a signature something my signature nails are french i love short french nails they always make me feel feminine they make me feel soft they make me feel grounded now the last thing i'm going to talk about when it comes to physical is your style now this is where a lot of people put in a lot of work which i understand because the look brings it all together for your physical again utilize pinterest this woman that you're trying to create right what does she look like in terms of what she wears how does she dress and you can definitely create a mood board on pinterest my style for 2024 is definitely going to be different and i already have that mood board set and i'm working towards it right now i don't have to take out everything from my closet because honestly that'll be too expensive to have a whole new wardrobe so i'm using those pieces and i'm trying to style them differently so what you can do if you don't want to change your whole wardrobe or you can't afford to change your entire wardrobe is to look for ways to style the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe differently to fit into this woman that you're trying to be this your glow up era this your new phase in life the way you normally style that t-shirt you could look for other ways to style it that would fit into this new person that you're trying to create if that makes sense i'm just learning how to style my pieces differently i'm learning how to re style or look at my outfits from a different angle and you can definitely achieve that just by creating a plan a mood board and following through it so start by looking at your wardrobe taking out the things that you don't need the things that do not absolutely fit into the style of the woman that you have to take out with what's left figure out how you can style that to fit into the image or the identity of the woman that you're trying to be now the next phase of our globe is our mental and our internal now when we talk about mental and internal we talk about mindset and thought so what can you do to help your 
yourself improve mentally, how to strengthen your mindset, how to strengthen your thought, how to be more grounded, how to learn, how to grow, how to self improve, how to self develop. First thing I'm going to recommend is meditation and yoga. If you have never ever tried a meditation session or gone to a yoga class or had a private session you know, with yourself basically, or you've never tried any of these apps that help, try it. You wouldn't know the power of meditation and yoga until you try it. When you need to think, when you need your head in the right spot, all you need to do is cancel out the noise and the only thing that's going to put you in that head space is when you just close your eyes and relax and take it all in. Take a deep breath to refresh, to think and then to process. Meditation and yoga relaxes your muscles, it relaxes your soul, it relaxes your mind. If you were ever struggling with anxiety, restlessness, staying still and stress, I will 100% recommend meditation and yoga. It will change your life. Even if it's just five minutes in a day that you have to meditate or do yoga, try and do it. There are a ton of apps that can help you. I use Calm. Calm helps me sleep at night. It just puts me in that zen space every single time. Like when I just need to relax, calm my nerves, or I need to calm myself when I'm angry, or I just need to sleep. I need to have good thoughts or cancel thoughts in my head. When I start to overthink, I just go to calm. They have different types of programs. They have sleep music. They have meditation. They have it, all those things. They have all of it. Next thing when it comes to your mental is learning, growing. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with learning and gaining knowledge. Every encounter, every situation that you come across in life, you see it as an opportunity to grow and to learn. That would make you two steps ahead of the next person. You're always seeing opportunities and windows to jump at when it comes to expanding your knowledge, being aware, being in the know, improving your vocabulary, understanding life from different perspectives, understanding different cultures, and there are a lot of resources and materials to help you do so. There is YouTube. There's also videos like this. There are self-help books. There are self-improvement, self-development books. I personally don't read physical books because I honestly just cannot. I listen to a lot of ebooks watch a lot of videos and I take classes especially on, on Skillshare I take self-help self-development self-improvement and productivity classes on Skillshare now, this video is not sponsored but I'll have it in here because I genuinely love Skillshare now the third thing in this category is working on your self-esteem and confidence this is so important because you need to have that self-esteem and confidence to carry on into your new identity the only way you can fully embrace this person that you're being or you're getting into is when you're confident about yourself or you're confident about you being this new person Person. your confidence in this choice or in this decision of being this person that you're trying to be the main reason why a lot of people fail in their glow-up journey is lack of confidence lack of confidence and self-esteem to carry on this new personality then they just go back to who they were before or it becomes forced it doesn't feel like you you're not able to fully blend into this new identity because you lack the self-esteem or confidence to carry it there's a whole lot to talk about self-esteem and confidence because there are deep-rooted issues that might be causing your self esteem and confidence issues and that is something that you need to uproot from the root you need to ask yourself questions like what is making me feel like i can't be this woman that i'm trying to be what is making me feel like i can't be my higher self i cannot achieve this picture i cannot look like this i cannot feel like this i cannot be like this what is that thing in my head that is telling me that i can't do it or why is it that i feel like i can't do it you need to always look at things from the root cause that's usually the number one step to attacking most issues in your life is to understand why that is even showing up or appearing in your life and then the major thing is to actually gain the confidence believe that this is who you are this is who you're going to be this is who you're working towards being and you're going to be that okay you always need to tell yourself positive things which leads to my next point you need to be mindful of the things that you consume protecting your headspace protecting your thoughts protecting your mindset as you're on this journey of glow up you don't want anything disrupting your natural flow of things your natural flow of thoughts the positive things that you're set out to do for yourself the intention of you changing your life your thinking your headspace you don't want anything coming in between that and protecting what you consume also includes social media while social media can be helpful like pinterest can be helpful in terms of your glow up getting inspiration there are other platforms that could be doing the opposite you could be seeing things that could be diminishing your thoughts you could be seeing things that could be dragging you back things that could be confirming those limiting beliefs or that little voice in your head telling you that you can't do it things that will make you compare yourself to the next person or why do i think i can 
can be this girl that looks like this on instagram right you need to clean out your social media space things that don't align with this person that you're trying to be i've said this a million times when you're doing a sweep in your life make sure social media is included what kind of videos are you watching what kind of stories are you watching what kind of things are you seeing what kind of content are you consuming who you follow do they align with this new person that you're trying to get into do they motivate you and if it doesn't it doesn't have business being in your life social media has to glow up and social media also has to reflect this new identity that you're trying to step into you can't have your old self your old identity lingering around you it will always come back to remind you of that old you and sometimes tempt you to go back to that old you your mindset plays a huge role in your glow up journey that helps you seal things together that helps you actually succeed in your glow up journey you need to be mindful of these little areas these little things that little voice how you say things what you say to yourself how you speak to yourself it's very very important speaking of how you speak to yourself the next thing i want to talk about in this category is gratitude and when i talk about gratitude it always goes hand in hand with affirmation i'm a queen of gratitude and affirmations i've spoken about this for years on years and years on this channel being grateful for where you are and where you're trying to be even being grateful for having the opportunity to sit here and plan the next phase of your life being able to afford even the barest of the bare minimum of things being able to breathe that's ground enough for you to be grateful that's enough for you to sit and thank god for all the goodness in your life affirmation speak love light into your life i say this in almost every video because you don't know the power that your tongue carries you don't know the power that your mouth carries you don't know the power of the words that come out of your mouth make good use of them when you open your mouth to talk about your life yourself your health your growth your journey make Make sure it's something positive make sure as you're listing everything down trying to get to this next level self you're speaking a lot of life into it you're speaking good things about this new phase this new journey this glow up journey you're manifesting good things to come into your life like you're manifesting all the things that would come with this new identity with this new journey you see it you write it down you picture it and it's all yours now the last phase of your glow up journey is lifestyle and when i talk about lifestyle i talk about simply maintenance after you've done all this work on your yourself you need a routine to keep it going we need a maintenance routine we have spoken about you know self-care skincare routine hair care routine nails all of that so what does your maintenance routine look like my maintenance routine looks like waxing every two to three weeks my nails every two to three weeks my hair every week like i wash my hair underneath my wig every week it doesn't matter if i have you know cornrows for my wig i wash my hair with my cornrows we wear wigs and obviously you know wigs can you know accumulate dirt you make sure you're washing your wigs make sure you're changing out your wigs when you have the opportunity to your maintenance routine must not look like mine it must not look like the next person's just make sure that you have at least a list of things that you're doing every three weeks at least and when i talk about maintenance routine this also goes hand in hand with self-care routine trying to get massage days spa days sauna days whatever just make sure that you're keeping up a routine that supports this new identity you're able to feel your best feminine self when you have a routine it's a feeling that you get when you have a routine that i'm aiming for rather than the routine itself if that makes sense what is so important and essential for this glow up is relax and rest days in a life that is so fast paced everyone is thinking everyone is on go 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 it's so easy to forget to take a breather to rest to relax to be calm because you want to achieve things you want to be a boss babe you want to have your finances together you want to have your life together you want to have everything together family relationship friendship everything together it's so easy for you to get so overwhelmed and consumed by it that you don't realize that your body is overworking itself now i have been through burnout phases i'm currently healing from one right now and i know what i'm talking about when you get to that burnout phase every single bit of work you have put into yourself into this new journey into this glow up will be completely useless you need to have days like you set aside for rest you are sleeping you are relaxing you are not being productive it's not a one day journey it's not a two days journey you need time and give yourself that time and give yourself grace two important things that we're prioritizing during this glow up journey especially for the lifestyle is solo day solo travels and also spending time with friends like having girls night out doing things with people you know embracing your full feminine self you know going out with other females females that have your best interests at heart having sleepovers having girls nights brunch and all that stuff with your girls will have you sitting perfectly in your feminine energy never underestimate your 
girls time even if it's not girls dinner or girls brunch or girls night but having events with just genuine like-minded women you're having fitness classes taking walks with your friend it keeps you in your feminine energy surrounds with a lot of softness and love as long as you have the right people around you and at the other side you're also spending more time with yourself learning to be comfortable going on solo dates learning to be comfortable traveling alone and the more you spend time with yourself the more you know yourself especially stepping into a new era of your life you need to know this woman you need to have this woman's picture clear bold what you plan for her goals to be you spending a lot of time with yourself creates self-awareness self-love contentment last thing for lifestyle is very very important which is self-appreciation days gifting yourself for milestones accomplished no matter how small like i said earlier we are usually on go 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 trying to achieve goals tick boxes that we actually don't acknowledge the things that we were able to do we just stick it out of the box and then we move on to the next one and we have that bad habit of like this is done on to the next project okay take a breather give yourself tap on your shoulder for work well done for this completed task no matter how small you need to recognize yourself your hard work and your accomplishment you need to make it a habit you need to learn to always congratulate yourself for work well done once you reward yourself for this small milestone or this big milestone it'll get you pumped up to achieve even more okay and you'll be grounded you'll be in the moment you'll be present for every achievement in your life self-appreciation is so underrated i touched on three different angles or three different areas of glow up once you accomplish one congratulate yourself reward yourself always be happy for your success happy for yourself happy for your milestone that way you wouldn't even feel bad if people don't celebrate you because sis you celebrate yourself all the time that was a lot to take in for a fact but i hope this guide is able to assist you on your glow up journey for the year 2024 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'd also love to hear what era you're trying to step into for the year 2024 i have my social media linked instagram and tiktok make sure you follow me on there and stay connected with your girl thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job are you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey